Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard equation. I could call it exponential, but we have a rational function on the right-hand side. If you cross-multiply, you're going to get a polynomial times an exponential, or so whatever you want to call it. Let's call it exponential. How about that? So we have this exponential equation, 4 to the power x equals 1 over x, and we're going to be solving for x values. I'm going to show you a result from Wolfram Alpha after I do my work, my calculations, which is going to verify what I find, and then also show you a graph at the end. And I know some of you, maybe most of you, maybe all of you already guessed the answer. Yes, it's easy to guess and check. But that's not the point. I'm going to show you a couple different things here. And let's get started. So we have 4 to the x and 1 over x. First of all, I want you to notice that 4 to the power x is an increasing function. And 1 over x is a decreasing function. So what happens when an increasing function equals a decreasing function? One of them goes like this, the other one goes like that. Not exactly, but you get the idea. And they will intersect at a single point. There are a lot of interesting problems, ideas uh, using this, uh, which is fairly interesting. There's even a word problem. The guy is going up the mountain and then he's going down the mountain. Same path. There's a time uh, for which uh, he passes through the same point. Anyways, you can easily solve that problem using a graph like this. So you get the idea, hopefully, and this also happens when we have an increasing function and a horizontal line, because horizontal line is neither decreasing nor increasing, so they intersect at a single point, too. So we have this equation, and you can definitely guess and check, but let's not talk about it right now. And if you know it, uh, it's like, what was it? If you know it, raise your hand. Okay, um, clap your hands. Yes, if you know it, clap your hands. So anyways, uh, so what do we do with this type of problem? So one thing you can do is you can use a special type of function, which is called Lambert's W. I know I wasn't using that function a while ago because I wasn't really familiar with that and I didn't really like it. And I'm just like using a calculator. I mean, it's still pretty much, I think, the same way. It's like using a calculator or Wolfram Alpha. But, you know, uh, it's an interesting function. That's Anyways, so here's what we're going to do. Multiply both sides by x. And that's going to give us x times 4 to the power x is equal to 1. You can also look at this problem from another perspective. This is increasing. This is constant. They'll intersect at a single point. How do you find that? Numerically, analytically, or whatever method without guess and check. So that's what brings us to the Lambert's W function. Let me tell you a little bit about Lambert's W function or just a W. Uh, so W is basically the inverse of, so if f, so I, I should probably write it this way, if f of x is defined as x times e to the x, then Lambert's W function could be defined as the inverse of f. So what is that supposed to mean? This means that <laughs> if you apply f inverse on both, uh, both sides here, that's the interesting thing about math. I think it's beautiful. You can do f inverse of f of x equals f inverse of x e to the x. But f inverse and f, as long as f inverse is defined from the left, they kind of cancel each other out, leaving us with the identity function, which is x itself. So in other words, f inverse of x e to the x is just x. But if f is x e to the x. So based on this definition, we can do it. Or we can just reverse roles. Make sense? But we defined f inverse as Lambert's W function. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and replace f inverse with w using this. Or replace the x here with this. Make sense? So f inverse of x e to the x is going to be w of x e to the x, and that is equal to x. So in other words, Lambert's w function is a special function where when the input is x times e to the x, the output is always going to be x. Under certain conditions, there are branches, real complex, so on and so forth. I'll skip all those complications because I don't like complications. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We have an equation x times 4 to the x 
equals what was the equation I forgot? Okay, one. I forgot my own equation. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to W both sides because my goal is to find the X from here. So I want to extract it, like extracting the tooth, right? Hopefully easier. And it's going to give me that, right? Well, I don't want to do that because this is not going to help. This is, this is not X e to the X form. So here's what we're going to do first. Let's put this guy here into a form like this. Can I make this or turn it into x times e to the x? Yes, I can do it because I already have the x and 4 can be converted. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace the 4 with e to the power ln 4 because that's what it is, right? And then raise it to the power x. We're almost there, so just hang on. And then I'm going to multiply the exponents x times e to the power x ln 4 equals 1. Now, I don't have x times e to the x, but I have x times e to the power something else. Since I can change the power, I can change x very easily, right? How? Multiply both sides by ln 4, and you'll get it. That's it. So x times ln 4 times e to the power x times ln 4. Notice the two things. Equals 1 times ln 4. Can I just write it as ln 4 because that's what it is, right? Great. I got it. Yay. Well, you just got to Lambert both sides, right? That's what we still got to do. So let's go ahead and Lambert this and Lambert that and you'll get the answer. But what is Lambert this? This is like call this A if you want. You have Lambert A e to the A and that is equal to A by definition. So this is equal to x ln 4, and the right-hand side is just w or Lambert ln 4. Also, we're almost there. x is equal to what? w ln 4 divided by ln 4. You, and you can definitely generalize this for any equation like x a to the x, uh, you know, what is the uh, Lambert of this, so on and so forth. Anyways, this is the answer, but let's see what the Wolfram Alpha tells us as the answer and then hopefully you won't be that surprised but you'll at least see the result and obviously unfortunately it shows it as log but it means ln according to Wolfram Alpha for me it's based on but anyways this log means ln so the answer is one half hey you already knew that right so it is just one half so this simplifies nicely not all of them are going to simplify nicely but this is one half and let's get back to our original equation what was it 4 to the x equals 1 over x. If you plug in x equals 1 half, you're going to get 4 to the power 1 half is equal to 1 over 1 half. Is this true? 4 to the power 1 half for real values, it's 2. And the reciprocal of 1 half is also 2, so this checks. Yes, you probably knew all along that 1 half is a solution. And that's the only real solution. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our graph. And then are there any complex solutions? That's a good question. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. But let's go ahead and take a look at our graph real quick. We have an increasing function and a decreasing function for positive x values, which is our hyperbola, and they intersect at a single point, and that happens to be x equals 1 half. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.